Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Miss Global Motivation. I'm back with another video for you guys. This morning, we're back with our daily verse and devotional video. And uh, also, I have a video that's in the chamber ready to be posted. It is episode 2 to Jesus. Bless your peoples everywhere so that they may have something to eat. In Jesus Christ's holy name, covered by his blood. So I'm back. I have eggs. Square. I have fried eggs. They kind of fried and scramble. I have uh, rice. I think I'm going to have to get up and go get the salt because I like salt on my rice. I like salt, literally like salt on my rice. That's it. No sugar, nothing else. And uh, just a little butter. Just a little butter. So, I'm going to go step up. Let me taste this first. Go get the salt. I have my vitamins on the side over here. I got to take. I'll be right back, guys. Stay, stay there. I'll be right back. to do with that. Oh, I am back. I had to cut that other light off, y'all. It's daylight behind me. It is raining. It's another dreary day. I prayed to God and asked him to please don't let me be in pain today. Oh, God. Just don't, don't let me have no pain. Like, you know, unbearable. So, I'm learning how to deal with this pain. I think right now I'm kind of having like more like neuropathy pain because of the burning and stuff. But, whew, y'all, yesterday that pain brought tears to my eyes. I was just in so much pain. It hurts so bad. But I'm dealing with it. Things, anything that I have no control over that I can't change, I can't let it bother me. Mm. Y'all have some rice, eggs, and breakfast sausage. And my water. Mm. I hope everybody have a blessed day today. I know a lot of you guys are still asleep because it is just, it's just 8 o'clock here. But I want to get everything started. You know, because I know I have this video and another video that I want to um that I want to record and post. Well, upload. 
and schedule it out. So, <clears throat> I don't know where I haven't got the heat up from. Me and rice don't get along good. That's why you hardly ever see me eat it. Because for one thing, rice do not go down good. See, I feel I'm getting stuck right now from that little bite of rice. It just don't go down good. That's why I stop, don't really eat rice. Mm. I love me some good coffee. I'm going to be doing a Q&A video real soon. I know I don't have a whole big following, but I think my channel is growing pretty good. To me, it is. I think I got like 20-some new members in the last couple of weeks. So I'm happy. Thank God for all of my new subscribers. I ask God to 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 grow this channel because it's done to his it's 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 done in his glory, you know. I just do the plan and let God do the increase, like the words say. He just loaned me this platform. It's, it, it, it's his. Everything I have belongs to God. I remember when I was, I done been in some nice, some good churches. I love, I love, I met so many beautiful people, amazing people on this uh, pathway this road trying to make it to glory. I really have. I had some good pastors that I love. I really love. I was very faithful to them. My pastor now, I love her. You know, and I try to be obedient to her. To the word. I have my vitamins over here on the side. I'm going to take. But I got to slow down. We're eating and take a break and go on to read. Because this rice is sticking me up. So I got to wait and let it go down. So. Let's go to the verse of the day while we wait for my food to digest. The verse of the day is coming from Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 3. The Lord has appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. God said he loved us with an everlasting love. And he said he drew us with his love and his kindness. And that is how we are to draw other uh, peoples into Christ. That's how we help draw souls in and become soul winners is with love and kindness. Amazing word. The inspiration says, God has loved us from the beginning and always seeks to draw us close. His love never changes our falters. His ways are same today as they were the first day he breathed the breath of life into our earthly bodies. We are his children. He will continue to love us with an everlasting love that surpasses our understanding. He is present in every moment. And I want to take an intercession right here. And I want to tell all of my nieces, my nephews, all of my cousins, that I love them with my whole heart. Even the ones that we have had some words, some disagreements, I love you guys. I love you with the love of God. I love you so much. And I'm so glad to know that you guys cannot take that love away from me. I have love for you in my heart. And I love you guys unconditionally with the love of God. And I thank God for bringing us back together slowly but surely. And I love you. Some of my uh, nephews and nieces were some of my favorite family members. 
I gave pet names that because I loved them so much. When I used to come in out of town and visit, I would go to those special family members' house, and that's where I would stay. And they would cook for me, and I love them. I don't want to say no name because you don't want to offend nobody. They know who I'm talking about, but I love you. I love you, and I miss you guys. I miss you guys so much, and I thank God for each and every one of you. Now, the prayer for today say, Dear God, we are thankful for your steadfast love. You are the same from the beginning to the end. We can always look to you for refuge against the world, God. In Jesus' name, amen. The devotion of the day coming from Jeremiah 31, verse 3. The devotion of the day. The devotion of the day, the title is, All are children of the one God whom we adore. All are children of the one God whom we adore. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The day's devotion is coming from Lesson Scriptures, Exodus 11, verses, 10, verses 20 through 24. Let's go to Exodus 22, Exodus chapter 22, verse 20 to 24. Exodus 22. Let's go to Exodus 22. We're going our way back to the Old Testament. The beginning of the Bible. Exodus, uh, it was 22, I think verse 20. So let's see. Exodus 22, verse 20 through 24. Yes, and it read as thus, he that sacrificed unto any God, save unto the Lord, only he shall be utterly destroyed. Do not sacrifice unto no God but God. God said, have no God before him. He, there is only one God. Peoples can make any God they want, but there is only one true God. Thou shalt neither vex a stranger, nor oppress him, for ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. God said, don't vex no stranger, and don't oppress him. Because you was a stranger, you once was a stranger in the land of Egypt. Remember, he sent Moses to free the people from Egypt. Verse 22, you shall not afflict any widow or fatherless child. Do not cause any hurt, harm, or danger to any widow or any child that don't have a father. Verse 23, if thou afflict them in any wise and they cry at all unto me, I will surely hear their cry. Hallelujah, Jesus. Do you feel that? I feel that. Verse 23 say, if you afflict them in any way, talking about the widow or the fatherless children, in any way, he said he hear them cry out to him. He said, I will surely hear their cry. Verse 23, and my wrath, now he tell you and he's going to release his wrath, his anger, the fierceness of him. He's going to release it to you. He said, my wrath shall wax hot, and I will kill you with the sword, and your wives shall be widows. Hallelujah. He's going to take you away from your family, kill you dead, if you cause any harm to the widows or the fatherless children. And your wives shall be widows, and your children shall be fatherless also. Do unto others what you have done unto you. Don't do it. God just warned you. He just warned you. Let's go back to the devotion. The devotion is telling us that we are all children of the one God whom we adore. We all belong to God. Everybody. So don't think you can mistreat nobody because you think you so saved or you so much and they are not. Because if you do, God said he's going to He's going to pour out his hot wrath on you and make it as wax. Don't do it. The inspiration says, as we read the books of the prophets, we can see how they totally dis disregarded these commands in Yahweh. Yeah, they did. First of all, they worshiped false gods of the peoples with whom they settled. 
They were always being told by the prophets to end their injustice to the poor, the widows, and the orphans. They were not kind to the aliens who sought sanctuary either. I wish that all those who call themselves Christians would realize that these warnings are not for the Jews. <laughs> they are not for the Jews. That warning I just read where God say, do not cause any harm, danger, any hurt to the widows or the orphan, the fatherless children. That warning wasn't just for the peoples in the Bible days. That warning is for us now. Okay. We worship the false god of wealth and power, and we have little care for the poor. Greed is a, is a leading cause for most of the problems in our world today. People are greedy for money. Yes, they are. They are greedy for fame. Hallelujah. That's so true. It, they are greedy for power. Absolutely. It doesn't make any difference who they have climbed over or how much destruction that they cause to somebody else. Or how many lives are lost if their appetite for wealth and power are, aren't satisfied. Of course, their appetite is never truly satisfied. So if they succeed once, they keep trying again more. They succeed once, that ain't enough. They just keep on trying. And because of their greed, it causes them to mistreat the poor. It causes them to uh, mistreat the widows and the orphans. God ain't pleased with that. The only thing we can do is work for <clears throat> is work for the poor. Work to prevent persecution of those who need a safe place to live and to raise their children. And earn a decent living without having to fear the very people who are in charge with protecting them. We need to heed God's warning or we'll suffer in the same way the Israelites did. There are nations today who are willing to overtake anyone who is weaker if he will make them stronger. That's so true. Peoples will overtake you. If somebody see you weak, they'll try to use your weakness against you. There's a lot of peoples in this world. Some peoples have been killed. Because of what they got. Because that somebody saw them and was jealous and wanted what they got. And they already had enough. They had enough that they could have gave them. It don't make sense. And it's very sad. But it's very true. We must continue to be faithful. And to pray for our leaders as well for all those who will sacrifice the poor for the sakes of wealth or power. As both this passage and the psalm say, the Lord hears the cries of the poor. Don't think God don't hear the cries of the poor. He do. He hear them. He hears them, guys. You hear me? God word said, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. And he also said, do not abuse, mistreat, or use the poor, the widows, and the orphans. We must take heed to God's word and apply it in our mind to our heart. Because one day, if we don't, it's going to come up again against us. Listen, let's say this prayer. Lord, you have given us a task to continue the mission of Jesus to help the poor and the vulnerable to achieve justice. We all suffer. When we allow greed to overcome love, give us the strength we need to fight this battle. In Jesus' name, amen. I read to you the devotion of the day that came from Exodus chapter 22, verses 20 through 24. The title of the devotion is, We Are All of One God Whom We Adore. And the word of the Lord is blessed. So, now that I'm done, then how is everybody doing today? I hope you guys have a fabulous day. I'm doing good. I always feel better when I wake up in the spirit of the Lord. Praising God, giving my life to God before I get out of bed. 
it makes me feel good knowing that God is right here with me. God promises still stands with us today, guys. I and mean, y'all won't really talk on that because that's an upcoming video. God is so good. Let's take these pills. Now I only have the chewable vitamins now. So yeah, what are you guys having for dinner today? I'm thinking about having fish and boiled corn. That's that's all I can think of. You know, I barely even want to cook now. And when I do, it's mostly just some meat or something like some kind of boar. I cooked uh, dinner the other day. I made uh, the ground turkey spaghetti. Um, uh, uh, what's that? Crescent rolls and some barbecue chicken. Now, the chicken was so good. But what my plan was to do was to do some lemon, pepper, garlic, baked chicken wing. But I didn't have something that I needed. So I end up putting barbecue sauce on. Now, I do not like barbecue sauce. I don't even know why I bought it. I think I bought the barbecue sauce because I wanted to make some ribs and I didn't buy the ribs. So, but the chicken wings was good. They was really good. The spaghetti was a little spicy after I tasted it. It was a little spicy, which I like spicy, but my sister don't because I fed her today. And she do not like spicy at all. But she even told me yesterday that she ate some more of that food. That she say, ate some, say some. She don't eat a lot at all. And um, and she said it was good. It was a little spicy, but it was good. She said she put some cheese on top and, and put it in the microwave. And the cheese took away the spice. So I'm glad she did it. Because the food was really good. I don't cook often, but it was good. And I enjoyed it. I love you guys so much. And I thank God for each and every one of you that watches the videos, that leave me comments. Don't forget to share my videos out. Share them on your social media network so people can see this channel. I want to draw all men unto God. That is my job. And that's what I must do. I got to keep going. I'm going to eventually start going live every time I do my Bible studies or my series. I'm going to. I don't know when. It's, it's whenever the Lord says go for it. I don't know when, but I'm going to start. And eventually, I'm going to start bringing other guests up on my platform. And we can have great Bible studies, discussions, you know, sharing the word of God. Because somebody I always know more than somebody. And nobody knows everything about the Bible. Nobody. So as long as we fellowship together, what I don't know, that person might know. What that person might not know, somebody else might know. And it goes on and on and on. And plus, that is how we put on the full armor of God. If you guys don't know what that is, read um, Ephesians. Put on the full armor of God. He also read uh, Joshua one and nine. I'm sorry, y'all. One and nine. I'm staring now because I'm trying to think. Man, I love when my food is warm. I didn't let my food get cold. I want to give a great big shout out to Big B's message. That's my friend. That's my sister. We just got off the phone together. And uh, I love her. One day we're going to meet up. And we're going to spend the night together and we're going to just talk about the Lord and pray and we're going to have fun. We're going to do it. I can't wait. It's going to happen if I live to see. If we live to see. Y'all go check out her channel. It's called Big B's Message. Big B Message just, um, just had brain surgery. Had a tumor removed off her brain. And now... She got to go through um, radiation. And she's scared because she have anxiety. They want her to do it by putting a mask on her head. 
and she don't like it. She have anxiety real bad, so just pray. But I'm so glad and I'm so thankful for you guys watching the video. When I get through this video and get it posted, I will be coming right back recording episode three to Jesus took the death penalty for us. And I'm pretty excited about that um, topic, that segment, what it's about. I've been up here since uh, 3 o'clock, referencing scriptures, writing out stuff so I can have all the scriptures I need. It's going to really mainly be a lot of scriptures given out. And I hope you guys writing this down. Because you know what? Me, instead of giving scriptures out, I'm, I'm almost going to be the gay y'all the whole entire Bible. I don't know everything in that great book, but I always pray and ask God to put, give me a spirit of discernment to give me wisdom so that I can understand what I'm reading and so that he can reveal the mysteries of the word to me. I always ask him to reveal the mysteries of his word. I want to know what the word is, what it's saying. Like we did a, um, we did a program where each one of us in the church, that missionary and evangelist and stuff, had to take one of Jesus' last sayings. And when I tell you it was so powerful, when I started studying my saying, I felt it. I'm talking about it's like God put me right in there, put me in the Bible at that time. I felt it. I felt it. Why Jesus died. I felt it. How he was separated from God for, uh, from God's Holy Spirit for a, a brief minute. Because when he took on the sins of the world, he had to be separated from his father. He had to for a second. And that, that is why he cried out, Lama, Lama. Lama Lama Sabbathany. Why have thee forsaken me? That's why he cried out. But it wasn't that Jesus forsaken him. It's just that he had took on our sins and the sins stench in God's nostrils. So he had to be separated from God for a minute in order for us to be forgiven of our sins. And for him to be roused up again and be a new creature in Christ so that we can be a new creature in Christ. The word of God is good, it's true, it's real, and it's powerful. And I'm trying to teach myself through the Holy Spirit more and more each day to be able to literally take God's word for exactly what it is. So when I'm going through pain and stuff or having problems, you know what? I can stand strong on God's word and know that everything going to be all right. Okay? Life can get, can become unbearable sometimes. The trials and tribulation and pain and the suffering and losses we go through can be a bit much for us sometimes. But God promises that he's right there with us as we go through the water. Hallelujah, Jesus. He's walking in that water for us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I hope you guys enjoyed this little morning motivational video because I did. Hope y'all got something out there. I'm finna say goodbye until later. Uh-oh. Because I got another a uh, video that I need to record and get it uh, posted. But that video, the third episode, will not be coming out until tomorrow. Uh, episode two will be out today, I think, at three between 3.30 and 4. So, I'm finished. I'm going to drink my coffee, though, even after I get out here because I love my coffee. I always have two cups of coffee a day. Coffee warms up my body. Because my body needs to stay warm because of arthritis. 
So I'm going to say to you guys, thank you for watching. Please remember that we are all on the one God, one nation, one love, peace we have because Jesus died and paid the price. He took the death penalty so that we can have peace. Okay? So peace I have because of the blood of Jesus. And I want you guys to remember that God loved the whole world so much, even though everybody in the world don't love him, that he allowed his son, Jesus Christ, to lay down his life. And I love you too. I'm going to show y'all the outfit of the day. And I hope y'all have a blessed Wednesday. And remember, Miss Globo loves you all. And let me show you the outfit. And then we're going to say goodbye. The outfit of the day. I love you guys. Goodbye. Have a blessed Wednesday. Mwah. God bless.